All right, so um, I have all my pattern pieces cut out right now, and I'm just gonna kinda describe what comes next. Um, just in case you hear something weird, my dog is chewing a bone in the background, so hopefully that doesn't get too too much in our way. Okay, so first, let me talk eyebrows, because um, I just wanted to show you. I was trying to get on the pattern, get the right placement for the eyebrows. So this is our first sample before I got the head pattern right. And the eyebrows were like way too vertical. So um, so I so I um, I dropped I dropped the eyebrow down on the pattern. And I thought I got it to a pretty good place um, when I made this guy. And I like it. I like the um, I like the placement of the eyebrows. Um, you know, when you look at red pandas, they you know their eyebrow their eyebrow organization is kind of a little bit different and individual on each of them sometimes it's more vertical sometimes it's more horizontal sometimes they have fluffier eyebrows whatever anyway um i guess what i'm saying about that is that is that there isn't one right way um so if your eyebrows are doing something that looks a little different than mine it doesn't mean that it's wrong um, and so this one is the third one that's the right size and I tried to do this thing let's see if I can find the pattern piece I'm always trying out new new ways of, of doing things as I'm making samples and so what I did on that sample was I actually with a little exacto knife I cut out the eyebrow and I laid this down and then I placed the eyebrow in the hole um, and for some reason, I guess it shifted. So he's kind of got some kind of, he looks quizzical. Um, so one eyebrow is kind of funny. It, yeah, they just don't match. So so that's another thing to just look at. This one, I, I looked at them and I placed them and I made sure that they looked symmetrical on on the two pieces. Um, so so go ahead and goof around with that in, in whatever way you see fit um, or try to match my pattern exactly but remember that this dart this these darts are going to make that eyebrow look more vertical um than it is when you place it so so if you were to place the eyebrow like this because that seems like it's in the right orientation it's going to be like straight up you know or or tilting inward once you get your dart stitched okay so that's the dart that's the excuse me that's the eye, eyebrow eyebrow chat um, all right, so I've got, this is the back of the ear. I've got three layers. This is the front of the air, ear. I've got three layers, two white and one body color. Um, and then the first thing, so the other thing I wanted to tell you guys too is that, so on this sample, which was my first sample, I think you can see here, I stitched the cheek on and I stitched the eyebrows on before I... Um, stitch the head together um, so I applied those first but if you apply them wrong first or different first you'll have a different expression so um, just be aware of that um, then the, the next one which is this one which was my second sample and then we got the pattern right um, so this one I glued them on so I took a little bit of tacky glue and instead of stitching on the pieces, I glued them on. So that's an option too. And I think maybe that's what I'm gonna to do today. This is the third guy. And what I wanted to see while we were, um, while we were together was what happens when I do the brushing if the eyebrows have been stitched on. So let me grab a pin and I'll just do that while we're together here. I'm going to bring this right up to the camera and adjust the focus. Okay, there. Sorry if the camera is goofing around a little bit there for a bit. Okay, so these guys are stitched on, um, and let's just see what happens when we fuzz them and how that looks. So it actually seems to work pretty well stitched on. I wasn't sure if it would. But, um, but the edges soften up nicely. So I think, here's my, here's my takeaway from this, is either stitch or glue them on, um, whichever 
you enjoy doing more. Um, because it seems like both work well. Okay. So that's that. So on this one that I'm doing right now, I'm going to glue them on just so that you can see what that, um, what that looks like. But I think, I think both are going to work. Okay. So then <laughs> there's one other thing. So on this one, I glued them on and then I stitched the darts. And on this one, and what happened here is that, see how this has like an, almost like an L shape? So when I glued it on and then I stitched the darts, the shape of this cheek changed from like a, a gentle curve to a more abrupt curve. Um, so if you prefer one or the other, this one, I, sti I stitched the cheek dart first and then I stitched this on. So um, now this really looks, let's look at those together. Um, see how that shape is different? Um, this one is exactly the shape of the pattern piece and this one has more of an abrupt curve. Anyhow, so I wanted to show you that, that either of those options is possible um, and you can choose what you like better. But so I'm gonna just, uh, I'm going to, what are we gonna do first? Let's take out our tacky glue. So here's the tacky glue. Um, this is turbo tacky glue, which is, more tacky than original tacky glue. Um, and both are good, both are fine for this, but for some reason I've ended up with more turbo tacky glue lately than regular. Okay, so here's our pattern piece. Hmm, let me put this away for a minute. So here's our pattern piece, and let's get ready to glue these guys on. So, where'd my other cheek piece go? Have I lost it already? Probably. Okay. All right. So I can place the cheek piece on here and I can just kind of pull that out and then just double check, you know, visually, does it look like the distances are the same? You can measure them if you want. Um, I like to do, I like to do these the left and the right at the same time so that, um, you know, I make sure that they're fitting together. But I seem to have lost that second, oh, there it is. Here it is, there's my second cheek. Okay, so then we'll put that one on too. So those look, those look pretty symmetrical to me. We'll do the eyebrows in a minute. Okay, so those look pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to glue these on, um, but I should also, I should maybe do a little demo of stitching them on too. Okay, maybe I'll glue one and stitch the other. All right, so the glue, you don't want it to be really super thick because you don't want it to squeeze out or show or whatever. So um, just be conservative with your glue application. Just put it down. And um, so you don't want so much that the glue is gonna come through the other side. But if you are using the turbo stuff, it's so tacky and it, that it, that it, that's probably not gonna happen anyway. Um, all right, maybe I'll sew the eyebrows on. That's what I'll do. Okay, so here's our second cheek. Doot, doot. And just spread it around. And, and then I'm going to lay it down and make sure that they're in the same place. That one kind of seems like. Let's see, do they look good? They look pretty. They look pretty even. All right, so here we go for that guy. And, um, and then I'm gonna stop this video because it's getting a little bit long and I'll come back for eyebrows.